Greetings to the St. Henry's family. It was wonderful to welcome back our little lions and our grade 12s yesterday, and we look forward to the return of the remaining grades next week. How exciting it was to see both sections of the school, the little ones starting their educational journey, and the grade 12s who are at the beginning of the end of their schooling journey. From the teacher's point of view, it was great to engage again with their students, to see them in class, and to connect with them again in person. For those students who remain online, please make sure that you stay connected and engaged, and when you are ready to return, we look forward to welcoming you as well. You may not be aware, but tomorrow is World Read Aloud Day. The day is aimed at promoting the idea of reading as important for the development of literacy in children. Here we are in our library uh, today, and unfortunately the library hasn't been functioning to the extent that it normally would due to COVID-19 uh, lockdown and restrictions. Hopefully though, in the next few weeks and months, it will be back to its normal operation, and so we'll be able to provide that important skill and resource so needed for learning. We look forward to the library opening again in due course, but in the meantime, please do celebrate World Read Aloud Day. This week, in fact this Thursday, marks the birthday of St. Henry's. On the 4th of February 1929, St. Henry's opened for its very first day of school. So it's 92 years of education in Durban that we celebrate this week. The American poet Emily Dixon reminded us that we turn not older with years, but newer every day. She was of course talking about people, but it just as easily applies to schools as well. Here at St. Henry's, we have had to learn new ways of curriculum delivery and have had to be agile and adjust planning as we responded to the requirements of lockdown. So, St. Henry's will not be 92 years old on Thursday, but 92 years new. All the best for the week ahead.